everybody, it's Ion with Bobcat. So, uh, today I wanted to look at uh, creating some dimensions uh, off a part. Uh, this came up in a thread recently. And uh, so there's a couple of concepts that I wanted to go over. The first thing, when I hit view all, I see my, uh, my model here. But if I roll out with my mouse wheel, you'll notice that um, I... Uh, far away on um, like what, what I would call in car position uh, but I'm away from where world zero is and if I look at it from a front view as well you can see it's below Z zero so uh, though it's not necessary to do this it makes it a lot easier if you can move the part to world zero so uh, there's a trick that I have for this and it's pretty good um, what we're gonna do is just run our stock wizard on our part okay all right, so we got uh, our stock wizard set up here, and then what we're going to do is go to this uh, machine setup page, and usually we use this to pick where we want our zero to be. Um, but some uh, really cool things we can do, right at this point, we just want to save this part file, so we're going to do save as. Okay, then we're going to close the file, and then we're going to open the file back up. And when we do that, we get to keep all this wireframe geometry. And all that wireframe geometry is useful because now when we want to translate it from where it is to zero, we can do so very easily. We can just go to Utilities, Translate, Sketch Ender, uh, window our geometry in, pick where we want our zero to be, and then uh, now we have the part aligned with the world coordinate system. Okay? Alright, so that's... That's the first thing that we want to do. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is we want to figure out what some of these angles are. Okay, so what I'm going to do is create a new layer and uh, call this uh, side view. Um, all right, we're going to make this active. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, change our coordinate system to the side coordinate system. And then we're going to generate a planar surface. Uh, based off of these curves here, okay? Alright, so now we have this planar surface here, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to extract some uh, wireframe geometry, okay? So we're going to do uh, utilities, extract edges, uh, single, and we're going to pick this curve here and this curve here, and um, those are the two that we're going to use for now, and then we'll hit our space bar, right click cancel, uh, we're going to turn off our CAD layer, and uh, from here we're going to project these curves down onto this plane. So we're going to do other, project curves to plane, we're going to select these two, we're going to pick that plane, right click cancel. Uh, then from here I'm just going to extract some edges, uh, this one, this one, and this one, and that one, and then we're going to choose OK and then we're gonna select the color yellow and delete it and now what this has given us is a section view so it kind of seems like a lot of work uh, for a silhouette but uh, those are the steps that you can follow now that we have this section view um, I'm gonna just trim this from here to here uh, I'm gonna go to let's try a left view here uh, let's go to a right view okay and uh, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to generate a dimension. So we're going to go dimension, angle, um, and we're going to dimension this angle from here to here. So we get this value here, and then we're going to dimension this angle from here to here, and we're going to get this value here. All right. So now I can go back to my top plane and I can turn my model back on and we can see what our, uh, our uh, angles are based off of this top plane here. So in short order, uh, just by moving the part to zero, extracting, projecting, and then dimensioning uh, in a UCS, uh, we're able to get a good idea of what's going on with this model and what these angles are. So uh, hopefully that was helpful to you. If there's any questions or comments, please reply back to the thread. Thank you so much, guys.